Today we are heading back to the mine and we are taking some Premier body armor steel core plates with us. So we are pretty much only looking at penetration today. There's a number of things that you can look at when you are working with body armor and testing body armor. You can look at weight, which uh, in this case, it's a hard body armor steel core. So it's obviously going to be heavier than a soft armor, but as far as steel core goes, this is one of the lightest ones on the market. And there are pros and cons to both, but you also get less uh, less punch when you, if you actually get hit with something as opposed to a soft armor, which you save a lot of weight, but you do get that deformation that kind of punches you in the chest. Another aspect we're going to disregard today is the spall catching ability. There's a couple reasons for that. So plate carriers, I don't want to sacrifice any of them, uh, any of my own, they're expensive. But when we look at body armor, you have to understand these plates go inside of these types of plate carriers. And this really thick, like Cordura type fabric is a huge part of catching the spall from fragmenting bullets. And what I mean by that is if you were to shoot a bullet at this, it's going to fragment into a ton of little pieces and go everywhere. This coating helps catch that. And this plate carrier will help catch that as well. So we're not going to catch that because I'm not sacrificing a plate carrier for this video. And we're going to be putting these through a lot more than they are designed for. So when it comes to body armor by NIJ standard ratings, uh, this is level three. So level three is rated for six shots. Each shot is supposed to be two inches apart and two inches from the edge. Uh, we are not going to be following those testing standards. We're gonna throw way more at this than it is designed for and rated for. Because of those few reasons, we're going to disregard um, its ability to catch spalling because we're just, we're putting it through an incredibly unrealistic test as far as that goes. We're just looking at penetration and I'm excited to get out to the mine to uh, test these out with you. Uh, this particular plate is also their shooter's cut. So it's cut a little more aggressively right here. That way you have more mobility when you're wearing it in your plate carrier. So on something like this, when you have that on, you're gonna still have your full range of motion. This is their level three plate. So this is rated for six shots of pretty much anything 30 caliber and below. Um, 5.56 at 3,000 feet per second or less. Uh, 308 at 2,780 feet per second or less. Pretty much any round from any AK you're gonna be fine with. Um, anything in that general area. I mean, there's really nothing technical to this test that we're doing. We're just throwing it in this uh, contraption and we're gonna shoot at it. So I'm just gonna stop talking and uh, let's shoot it. We're gonna do this AK. This is the M92 pistol and uh, just some standard Russian crappy ammo. No penetration on the back, no deformation at all. As you can see here, the lining is uh, taking a beating, but as we go inside, there's not even a dent on this. You would, I, will, I, will, I wouldn't say that you'd be totally fine. I've never been shot before, so I can't say that. But you wouldn't have a hole in you, and that's a good thing. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna throw some 308 at it. Next up, we're taking this Culper Precision Built AR-10 putting some 308 at it and this is just the regular standard M80 308. Is that rolling? Check her out. So, first thing we can see, the spall coating finally came off. And this one is the first one that has any sort of deformation at all. All right, you got some little tiny dents on here, but that is it. And that's from a 308, and this stopped it no problem. So, I think the only thing we have left to do is start doing mag dumps of all this stuff and see how much this can take until we run out of ammo, probably. It's probably the best decision that we can make at this point, just to do that. So let's try it. 
We're gonna mag dump now. We're using the green tip 556 five, and we're just gonna run a full 30 round mag at it and uh, see what happens. Like there's at least one that I hit the concrete on. I think there's only, I think there's one man. I'll take that. Sit just down. so everyone knows, this optic's out of batteries, so we're uh, we're just kind of pointing it in the right direction and hoping it hits something. Nada. Not a single one went through there. Not a single one of those even made a dent. The splinter sticking out of my hand. That feels good. So now we just need to mag dump the AK. On to the next one. So far it has set up to everything, so we're about to do a 30 round mag dump on this AK. This thing hurts my shoulder to mag dump because it has this super stellar pistol bla brace on it. Ta-da! Still nothing gone through. Man, nothing at all. We're finally starting to see like a little more deformation, but we're, what are we, we're six, we're 78 rounds into this, and we're just now starting to see some deformation in this plate. That is pretty impressive, especially since, look at how thin that is. That's five millimeters thick. That's it. All right, so that's it. The level three Premier Body Armor has taken everything we can throw at it. Collectively, we've put almost 80 rounds into this, I think. is I think we're pretty close to there. And uh, taking it all. Uh, mag dumps of green tip 556, mag dumps from the AK. It has stopped all of it. Uh, so I think all we have left is to ask them for more body armor and see if it'll handle full auto next time. So, Premier Body Armor, 